Sports with Adam Derengowski. It's going to be a late night for the Irish, well, tonight. Notre Dame and Butler will be the last of a full slate of tournament games, and ND is okay with that. WSBT 22 Sports Director Pete Byrne has more. Notre Dame played in the very first game of the NCAA tournament on Thursday afternoon, and they will play in the very final game tomorrow night here in Pittsburgh when they take on the Butler Bulldogs for a spot in the Sweet 16. And while you're probably thinking tip-off time doesn't really matter, we spoke to head coach Mike Bray about that today, and he actually feels the late start benefits his team. I told him last night we went to dinner. We went to Bettis's place, so I'm trying all the karma, fellas. <laughs> I'm stirring every bit of karma I can get. We were at Bettis's place, and I didn't pay the bill. I called him. I said, we're not paying. We're walking out on the check. <laughs> Mike Bray is tapping into every positive vibe he can find. But the one factor he's embracing perhaps more than any other is the start time. The Irish and Butler probably won't tip off here in Pittsburgh until after 9.40 Saturday night. That's the exact same time slot the Irish fell into during the quarterfinals and semis of the ACC tournament. And of course, we all know how that turned out for Notre Dame. So when Mike Bray found out that Saturday's tip-off will be the last one of the night, he didn't mind at all. The Night Stalkers are very happy to be back Is that stalking your term it now. now? That's my turn, baby. We love. I told him. I told him out there. I said, "We're at 9:40, fellas. We know how to do the dance late at night. I love it." When I saw that flash up, I said, "Perfect. That's what we want. We know how to those long days coming out at night." Um, yes, I did use Night Stalker. So it will indeed be a late start here tomorrow night in Pittsburgh when the Irish take on Butler. But Irish fans have waited a dozen years to get back to the Sweet 16. I suppose it's okay if they have to wait just a few extra hours tomorrow. Reporting from the NCAA Tournament in Pittsburgh, Pete Byrne, WSBT 22 Sports.